As Mr. Johnson makes his way up, Mr. Corley had emailed us um, this afternoon saying that he was not going to be able to make it. And uh, so Mr. Johnson, uh, as I said earlier, will have four minutes. Uh, he is asked if he could answer the questions first and then uh, end with uh, his, uh, his allotted time. Good afternoon. <clears throat> I, I'm just going to make a brief statement okay. yeah, go ahead. And, and follow through on a couple of comments. That's fine. <clears throat> I'm here tonight on behalf of the students <clears throat> in Newton County. I'm here tonight at the grace of God, through the grace of God, and because of that. What I want to do is to share with you some of my commitments that I made four years ago in terms of what I would like to do. And that is work tirelessly for student achievement. And I think that I have accomplished that, but <clears throat> we still have work to do. One of the accomplishments that I've made is that I was committed to restructuring transportation within the school system. I did that, naturally the board as well. So excuse me if I say I alone, I don't mean that. I worked with other board members and we revamped this transportation system in a three-tier system, saving $1.1 million a year. And further improvements in that, we're now saving $65,000 per year in fuel. Also, when I there, I, committed, I was committed to early childhood education. And that, I had a vision that if I could get the County Board of Education to engage an after school program, we will accomplish a great deal. And what we did, <coughs> excuse me, in that, now, we have all of the schools in District 2, say that first, with an after-school program. What does it do? It takes the kids <clears throat> off the street for a time. It extends their learning hours. It gives the students and, and parents an opportunity to do remedial work and thus that has improved the results in our primary testing indicators. The further on that, when I took over, as you calculate the graduation rate, as it was <clears throat> when I took over, the graduation rate, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you. The graduation rate was one out of three students failed to graduate. My opponent was on the board for 12 years <clears throat> and show you what is accomplished. Through the efforts of the board and under my strong advocacy, we improved the graduation rate using the old calculations from one out of six and we will continue to make that progress today. Student achievement is up. It's on a steady increase, and I'm very proud of that. It's an honor to have had the opportunities to do that. But we still got work to do. Got a lot of to do. So what do we do? In that process, I am honored and very proud to be a participant in the establishment and helping this get through the troubled times that experienced this very same building. I was here when they put the first brick in. And I was here, I believe it was in this auditorium, this stadium, not stadium, excuse me, this facility here <coughs> with appreciation and recognize what this will do. We have 17 career pathways that's offered in this building, this, this facility, and growing. That is going to have a profound impact further on our graduation. 
We are here for student achievement. I'm here. But unfortunately, my opponent is not here. And let me tell you, he's very consistent. He's only been to one meeting for the community. Now, he was there 12 years. I've been to every one. I'm in this community to generate your concerns, help with your concerns, and do the very best thing we can do. Do I have the physical? Oh, my four minutes. You're, yeah, you've used the four. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were going to speak for a minute. Yeah. Well, I, well, I, that's right. It's a good thing Ricky's not here. I, I was here at the grace of God. And he, he kept me going. <laughs> Let us uh, transition. So I need, everybody, I need your support. All, all those that you was planning on to vote for Corley. Now, you, you, you can't vote for him. He's not here. And he won't be around. So I need your vote. Thank you.